Yo, what up? It's your boy Sean. Better known as Beats on T. It's Thursday, so you already know what time it is. This week we doing show and tell. Talk to the camera. Say what's up. I saw pop. What? He said what's up, pop. What up, pop? No, don't touch my lens, bro. What are you doing? Say hi. Hi poop. Hi poop. What? Hi poop. <laughs> Why are you so silly? Hi poop. Say brotherhood. Mala. No. Say, say brotherhood. Mala. <laughs> brotherhood. Mala. What? Mala. Say brother. Mala. Mala. <laughs> That's how he says brother. Say brotherhood. Mala. My first show and tell today this is my ugly wife. <laughs> oh, wait, my son is jealous. Hold on. <laughs> Why? Come, oh, come here. Oh, my baby. baby. Come here. Come here. Oh, 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 oh. Who, who do to my baby? Who do to my baby? Her do to my baby. Oh, boo boo. Who do to my boo boo? Oh, her do to my boo boo. Get her boo boo. Get her. Get her. Look, he don't even know what to get me. <laughs> All right, so you so phony because you want to be on the camera. So hey, look. Look, my first show and tell is my family because I feel like your woman. Yeah, what is? Bald headed and ugly as she may be, <laughs> is a reflection of you. Yeah. And I feel like the way you keep your kids dressed, clean, all of that, how they act, is a reflection of you. Although, oh, no. <laughs> don't mock me. You're yeah. going to make me look bad. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. You're supposed to be a good boy. See, I am a good boy. There's people watching. I'm a good boy. <laughs> you a good boy? Say Are yes. you lying? You telling uh, stories? <laughs> Johnny, Johnny. Papa. <laughs> Papa. Telling lollies. Pa. Open wide. Uh, uh, uh. So joy. No, you Joey Joey. So joy. You Joey Joey. So joy. You Joey Joey. So joy. No. So joy. Pa. So uh. Ah. <laughs> no. Tell lolly. No. I'll go wide. Ah ah ah. So joy. No Joey Joey. Why are you still Joey Joey? Ah uh, no. Where's the ice cream? Can I buy ice cream or ice cream, man? <laughs> what you want, money? Where my ice cream? Ice cream. I ain't no gonna give you no money. You don't give me no ice cream? Make ice cream. Ice cream. Go get my ice cream then. Oh my God, the boy a hustler. He said get my money before I give you any ice cream. So the reason why I show my wife and my son is because I feel like your woman is a reflection of you. The way you keep and maintain your family as a man, it, it's a reflection of you. You know, did, how does your family maintain? Look, I got ice cream. Don't nobody got strawberry ice cream, but I do. You don't. <laughs> oh, wow. This for me? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, ice cream man. So if you don't take care of your family, that says something about you as a man. You know what I'm saying? For example, ladies, men, if you walking around looking like a million bucks, you know what I'm saying, and your kid walking around... <laughs> Here, you want to take it in the top? Yeah. Come on. And your kid walking around looking like who shot John and why? Then that says something about you, you know what I'm saying? But you walking around with the fresh cut and all that, like, nah, you know? Get 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 yourself together. Get your, your, your stuff together, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, Yeah. So basically, I wanted y'all to see them, you know, so you can pretty much see, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I think the whole idea, the whole show and tell thing... Was basically to um, let y'all get a little inside look at, at, at us as people. You know what I'm saying? Um, here's something else I can show you. One of my favorite pictures of my son is actually something I dressed him up for. Hold on, let me flip around. It's this joint right here. And then he got like his little KDs on and everything. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he got his headphones on, 
You see, he's got a little notebook. I'm trying to wait for this joint to focus. <laughs> Take it forever. You know what I mean? But that shit is like one of my favorite pictures of him. But, you know, my family's my pride and joy. And then um, the other thing that I love right here, this uh, um, oh, let me my notebook out of the way. This drawing right here, it's a little piece of art that was sent to me from my cousin who's doing a bit. He getting ready to come home from that. Those of y'all that really pay attention and follow, you know, my um my IG and um uh, my my Facebook page and all of that have probably like seen me post every now and again about him. He'll be home soon. He been away for how long? Like a decade now? Okay. Um yeah, yeah, my little cousin Ten. So he been away for like a decade, you know what I'm saying? But he um he sent this to me one time. I told him like, "Yo, I want some. I want a portrait." And I sent him the picture I wanted a portrait of, cause he asked me, you know, one year like like what you want for your birthday. And it was crazy because like I knew he would get it done, but I never thought it would be what it was when he sent it to me. And that's exactly how the picture looked, like what y'all seeing right there. Like as you can see, music that's always been my heart and soul. I think I was like. Uh, 15 maybe 16 i thought like 16 um in that picture and he like redid it for me and i was like 20 Shit, i don't even know in my 20s though when he finally had it done for me as you can see that baby face pre t you know what i'm saying um but at the time casanova uh was my stage name which i've since dropped that shit because there's too many people that um are going by that name as a stage name um, it was actually a name that I didn't give myself. It was given to me. Um, you know what I'm saying? And the Lady Killer, I've always been known as the Lady Killer because, you know, that's just how I've always been with the lady. You know what I'm saying? So, but I passed that torch on to my son, and he's doing his thing. So that's something else that's real special to me. It's crazy how much talent is just wasting away in the prison. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, what you gonna do with this? What is this? That's a, a whole nother topic for another day, you know what I'm saying? Then another thing, like, I wouldn't call myself a sneakerhead, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got that many kicks. You can't see all of them because of my son's toys and shit. And then I got kicks at other places and everything. But, um, I mean, in my family, I'm known as a sneakerhead. But to a sneakerhead, I'm not no sneakerhead, you know? I mean, if I like them, I buy them. My favorite, as you can see, are fives. Um, and then I'm like a huge fan of the Patrick Ewings. Y'all know, and oh shit, I got them on my feet. I'm getting ready to take y'all over here to the box. Where they at? On my goddamn feet. So these do hold on. Where they at? Right there. So the Pat Ewings, like, I love these drums. Like, a lot, a lot. These drums, like, they super dope to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know what it is about them. But, like, I, I love them. So, I'll probably get, like, a lot more pairs of them. Um, <laughs> them flip-flops, them joints, my baby! Yo, strange fruit fragrances. I'm trying to tell y'all. Listen. Sis ships internationally. You hear me? Internationally. Wherever you at, holla at her. You know what I'm saying? You see something on her IG, let her know. Cash app the bread. You know what I'm saying? And um, y'all can make it happen. I'm looking outside for this damn... I don't know what the hell it is living in my backyard. It's either a gopher or a motherfucking groundhog. I don't know. Something living under my shed, though. But, anyway. Yeah, Strange Fruit Fragrances. You know what I'm saying? Y'all definitely... Um, it's, it's a shirt that I wore that I got a lot of compliments on. I got from there, too. She shipped internationally. I'm going to leave her info in the description. Y'all check out the, the Instagram and follow it. You know what I'm saying? If you like nice things, Gucci belts, Gucci flip-flops, you got a lady, you know, Gucci bags, all of that, the T-shirts, the Nike sets, you know, short sets, uh, jogger sets, sweatsuits, all that. You know what I'm saying? Follow that IG. So of all my shoes, though, it's one pair in particular that's, like, my favorite, and that's these drinks right here. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't even know how they got that dirty because I don't wear them. I wore them three times, maybe. Maybe that could be why. 
I don't know. I should keep them like in a um in like a a, a bag or some shit. I don't know. But it's like as y'all can see the um they Reebok. It's actually the Kendrick Lamar Jones when he collabed with Reebok. And the right one, because y'all know. So, the red represents the bloods. You know what I'm saying? And they represent on the right side. So, the red one is... Hold on. The red is... um. There you go. Is, uh, you know, for the, for the blood homies. You know what I'm saying? And I thought this whole drone was really dope, what he did. You know, the shoe strings is red and blue. Wait, there you go. You know what I mean? And then you got the Crip homies that rep on the left. So the blue one is the left shoe. You know what I'm saying? Although you do got some homies that bang on the left too, and they not Crip. So. But... You know, that ain't, we ain't gonna go there, cause that, this ain't what this is about, you know, and then in the, in the middle of, I mean, in the, um, back of the tongue, it say neutral, you know what I'm saying, so, I just thought that was dope, because he basically collabed the two, you know, the red and blue, and brought them together on a neutral color, you know, the off-white, white is, you know, neutral, you know what I'm saying, um, and just brought them together, the red and the blue, you know, to kind of symbolize unity, and, and I just, I really thought that it was dope then. I think it's dope now. That shit is really tight, you know, that he did that. Um, Kendrick Lamar is like an artist that I really respect. A lot of the shit that he talks about, the things that he stands for, you know. Um, and if y'all no, pay attention to anything that I talk about and how I feel about things, y'all will know that I'm like all for unity and unification Although every time I talk about it, I feel like Dr. King, because we all have a dream, but whether or not shit gonna come together and we ever gonna really unify as one is a whole nother thing. So that's my three things, you know what I'm saying, that I wanted to share with y'all. That's this piece right here that was done, you know what I'm saying, by a homie that um, my cousin was doing a bit with. He since then moved prisons. He getting ready to come home now, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But I, I felt like that shit was real dope when he sent that to me. The amount of talent and artistry that goes into that. Because you figure them niggas ain't really got much to make this kind of shit with. And he, he like, that shit is dope. <laughs> like, it's hell. Like, the detail. Let me give y'all another look, man. It meant a lot getting it. And then these joints. And then these ugly, ugly mugs here. You're not going to talk to everybody on the Brotherhood channel? Tell them what? Tell them how bald-headed and ugly you is. Oh, whatever. Get out my face. Ma, ain't you trying to... You need to practice. Oh, Aren't you gosh. starting wife of the FTM? Who are you? I am. I am Liz. Ah! Yeah, I'm being summoned. Excuse me. Your daddy calling you. My son is calling me. Your Woo! daddy is calling you. My son is calling you. You should ask your daddy if you can play tonight. I no, he body. said no. <laughs> so I want to get out. I love you. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Say bye bye, everybody. Bye bye, Jesus. Say go get in the tub. Go in the tub. Say brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Say your breath stink. Brush it. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Say bye to the channel. Bye. What? Can you not? What am I doing? You're not doing anything. You're just standing there, which is like weird because you're not standing there. I'm being there. weird? <laughs> you don't stand there and stare at me? But that's different. I can do that. Why? Because I'm known for doing weird stuff. So when you do weird stuff, it's out of the margin. <laughs> can you not say? Even he do weird stuff. Can you not? <laughs> <laughs> say, <laughs> say bye.
Say bye bye, everybody. Bye bye, honey. No, bye bye, no. honey. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye bye, everybody. Bye bye, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not be biting my cheeks? <laughs> Who buy your toys? Mommy, daddy buy me. Mommy, daddy buy your toys? Yeah. <laughs> G, look at daddy. Toys. Look at daddy. Who buy all your toys? <laughs> wow. What you doing, fathead boy? No. Yes, you is. Baby shark. What the pig say, G? Pig. What do you say? What? <laughs> what does the pig say? <laughs> oink oink. Oink oink. Oink What the cow say? Cow. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what the cow say? No. Good boy. What the mommy say? Say nag, nag, nag. Nah, nah, nah. Really? You are so fucking corny. <laughs> you been rocking with your man, Sean. Better known as Beast on T. And we out of here.